flow diverters are new generation stents which we place in the parent vessel across the neck of the aneurysm which disrupts the intra aneurysmal flow and causes thrombosis and closure of the aneurysm. These flow diverter stents have got multiple fine wires which reduces the flow within the aneurysm but maintains the flow in the normal blood vessel and slowly the aneurysm thrombosis and then the body tissue covers the stent which leads to complete healing of these aneurysms. These devices we can use to treat very complex aneurysms which were not so easy to treat before such as very large and giant aneurysms, aneurysms with a very open neck or a broad neck aneurysm or aneurysms in which the parent vessel, the main blood vessel is severely damaged. These procedures are done through the femoral artery the same way as cardiologists place a stent in the heart. So they do not need any open surgery to do the procedure. From the femoral artery or sometimes even through the radial artery in the hand, we go into the brain blood vessel and deploy these devices. After the procedure, usually we like to observe the patient hospital for one or two days, but most of these patients from the very next day, they can go back to their normal lifestyle. We do a check angiography after six months of the procedure to look what is the status of the aneurysms and according to the literature as well as our own experience, most of these patients are completely cured uh, by that time. Lot of advances are happening in this uh, field uh, which is helping us to treat even more difficult cases and with better safety profile. We are getting nowadays coated flow diverters which are coated in a way that they become less thrombogenic that means they, they need less blood thinning medication. We are also getting flow diverters which we can deploy through very small tubes which can be taken very safely into small blood vessels of the brain. Also like in Artemis we have got a biopnein lab along with 3D imaging and with a CT scan like imaging within the procedure by which we can study the device and the blood vessels in a very fine detail before we stop the procedure and we are sure that the de device has been deployed rightly. All this technology and as well as our experience is helping us to treat complex brain aneurysm in quite a safe as well as effective manner.